it was the worst in winter before we got spindle but this time around it was pretty incredible Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that has been much requested, especially on my Instagram. My DMs are blowing up requesting this video and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing an updated cloth nappy wash routine. I know this is not everybody's cup of tea, but honestly though, this video is going to be super helpful, especially for the mom who's using cloth nappies, the one who's considering using cloth nappies, and who knows, maybe your friend or your friend's friend is using cloth nappies and they want an updated wash routine. I hear Nolibe is all talking, so this might have to be halted a bit. I have tons and tons cloth nappies to wash today i skipped my wash day on thursday today it is monday i typically wash on thursday and sunday just because it helps me stay on top of things it makes sure that i always have cloth nappies to use with my little ones i have two kiddos in cloth nappies fun times and so it helps me make sure that i always have nappies to use on them and we never run out typically what i do is i store the dirty nappies in wet bags for peanut i use his normal wet bag that we've been using for years now <laughs> listen to me saying for years <laughs> uh, that we've been using from the day we started using cloth nappies on him. For Noli Bear, I'm using a nappy bin, like a typical nappy bin that you would use for disposable. I never thought it would work, but it works amazing. We have the one by Nook. It's called the Cordbell Bin. I absolutely love it. It contains the smell. You don't have to worry about your whole house smelling like pee, poo, or anything like that. It is super incredible. This is way too many nappies that we have. I do the washing when that one bag is full and maybe there's like a few more on the side for peanut and Noli Basil's bin is also kind of sort of full. I never really thought like a regular bin would fit for like cloth nappies but this fits perfect. Pretty much step on it and um, you throw the nappies in there. What I like to do is add the cloth nappies into the washing machine and run a rinse cycle first. This generally helps to wash out all the weed and everything else that might be stored in the nappy when it comes to poo, runny poos, whatever else that happens in that process I do that rinse cycle for that so I do two rinse cycles the second one is mostly just for good measure to make sure that everything is gone the thing with cloth nappies is they absorb so well so incredibly well that you might think that the pee is gone or everything else is gone but there's still a little bit more left especially in the inset so I like to just run multiple rinse cycles most of the time it's just two rinse cycles before I do the wash cycles I'm gonna pack in Noli Basil's nappies first before I do peanut nappies he actually has quite a lot of nappies just because Noli Basil's P is not as strong and concentrated as Peanut's P. In between washing nappies, I am full on parenting. Hi, Lola Vick. Hey, love is Lola Vick. The biggest misconception that people have with cloth nappies is that it is a lot of work. At least that's what I get in my DMs. People always asking me, isn't it a lot of work? Isn't it too much admin? Isn't it too much maintenance? And all of that fun not so fun questions honestly it is not like right now i just loaded the nappies into the washing machine and it's currently running a rinse cycle i did a rinse plus if your washing machine doesn't have a rinse plus option just rinse twice or three times like i already explained but while that is happening and the rinsing is going on i carry on and go ahead and kiss babies and basically just live my life i don't have to sit and watch the nappies wash it really isn't all that much work another question that i always get is doesn't it waste water Honestly, I have no idea why people think that using cloth nappies wastes water. The washing machine cycle that I'm using is typically a rinse cycle that I would do if I was rinsing clothes, blankets, whatever else that I would have to wash in the washing machine. I would run the same exact rinse cycle. So honestly, I don't see how cloth nappies would be wasting water. I don't see how they would be wasting electricity because like I said, we run the laundry pretty much. <laughs> 
every single day. Like the washing machine in this house is working hard. But we've never had to exceed our electricity bill. In fact, we always have a little leftover at the end of the month. So I don't understand the misconception or is it just another myth that clock nappies waste water and electricity. But I can tell you now, it is not true. Where's Lola back? Hi. Miss Lola back. Lola, Lola back. This girl had carrots for lunch, and even though she was wearing a bib, yeah, it went onto your jumpsuit regardless. Carrot is so silly. This rinse cycle just completed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just run it one more time. Rinse plus again. Rinse it away. You look so pretty. <laughs> I mean, you look pretty all the time, but today you're on a whole other level with your dress. Yeah! Yeah! Uh huh. I picked probably one of the worst days to be filming this cloth nappy routine just because the lighting is so bad like the sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds and so I don't know what footage I'm gonna get out of this but I just hope it's gonna work the whole point of this video is to show you guys how I wash the cloth nappies what steps I do and all of that fun stuff and what makes my life easier when it comes to cloth nappies and so I'm not gonna be too concerned about the lighting and I hope it doesn't bother you as much right now I'm rinsing up peanuts nappies he actually has way too many cloth nappies hey. Mwah. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Look who's awake. Oh, hi. Say hey, besties. No? Nothing? Hey, besties. Peanut snappies have just finished rinsing. I put in Noli Bear snappies in there as well. So I'm just going to do a quick wash cycle i normally just wash them on the cotton setting just because it's the longest one and i need them to wash like really 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 hard and i make rinse plus I make sure the temperature is on 30 degrees just because i'm washing the nappy covers with too anything above 30 degrees might damage the cover the waterproof layer on the cover and i don't want that to happen so i normally just make them um, 30 degrees this load is for six kgs and uh, it'll take about two hours and 25 minutes i use the sunlight baby liquid wash to wash their nappies it smells really good i like it it's gentle but yet strong enough to wash away the poo stains the pee and all of that not so fun stuff look how well that is forming up i added a cap and a half which is probably a really 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 bad idea i should have just used one cap but we have so many nappies in there might end up like vomiting and spilling over but it is what it is for right now it foams really 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 well and washes well too it is right now 16:35 and this load is gonna take two hours and 21 minutes to be done washing so it'll be a while before it's done washing in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and relax go kiss up on some babies and just kick off my shoes have a good time and just be in the moment cloth nappies are not too much admin i'm just letting the washing machine do its own thing i'm gonna go ahead and do my own thing and then i will check back again at around 7 p.m <laughs> it will be done by then and then i'm just gonna transfer them onto the spindle make sure that i drain off all of the excess water that is still left in them and uh, make sure that they're completely almost dry unlike the regular laundry tumble dryer spindle spins at 2800 revs per minute that's double the spinning power of most washing machines which helps it air dry laundry faster it removes up to 80% of moisture from laundry in just three minutes and it reduces the drying time, the air drying time. It saves energy, uses a hundred times less electricity than a regular tumble dryer. It preserves fabrics. It does not use heat to dry up the laundry. It doesn't stretch material or shrink any material for that matter. And I can completely attest to this. I've used spindle for my laundry, for nappies, and just about anything else that we typically wash around this house. And um, none of them have come out of the spindle shrunk broken or stretched out it is safe for all fabrics even hand wash delicate such as woolen jerseys and it removes residual detergents that can damage fabrics fade colors or cause skin irritation
The thing I love about Spindle is that it makes the clothes pretty much dry in just three minutes. And this is for clothes as well as cloth nappies. I love it more so for cloth nappies than I do for the laundry because the laundry typically gets dry quickly because the material is so light. Whereas with the cloth nappies, because it is a material that's meant to absorb pee and keep baby dry, it can be a bit intense when you need them to get dry quickly. But with Spindle, it has been life changing. When I'm done washing them, I pretty much just pop them into the spindle, especially the insets. That's the new stuff in my cloth nappy wash routine everything else is still typically the same but i've just made the routine more efficient in the sense that i'm using spindle to help me get them dry quicker are you sharing now are you playing nice wow miss lola your one is matchy matchy with your jumping suit <laughs> While waiting for the nappies to wash, a small coffee break, marble coffee muffin with a yummy cup of coffee from Daddy Basil. One baby's reading a book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another one is just chilling over here. And another one has gone to play tennis. wish there was a way for me to show you guys how incredible this spindle is because I'm telling you these nappies like this liner right here is almost dry and this is a hemp inset did I just call it a liner I appreciate it it's an inset this one is microfiber and also again pretty much dry I'm gonna go ahead and hang them on a washing line what I would do is take them outside to get some fresh air but because it is nighttime I wash the nappies pretty late in the day I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them in the house and then in the morning I'll take them outside for like two minutes to get the fresh air and basically just bring them back in because I'm pretty darn sure they're gonna be dry by the time morning comes they are pretty much dry at this point. The spindle that we have is a 6.5 kgs, which you can get from Take A Lot. No more than three grand, which is amazing. They have 6.5 kgs and 4.5 kgs. And uh, because it's 6.5 kgs, I had to split the load because we had quite a number of nappies to wash. I'm gonna go ahead and run the other load, the second load of nappies into the spindle while I'm hanging up this one on the washing line. cloth nappy covers I prefer to not put the covers in the spindle just because they don't hold too much water and by the cover I mean this we use pocket nappies so this is what they look like this is the waterproof version outside the same applies for noli basils real covers this one goes with the ham flat I use these with the ham flats on her and so I don't put them in the spindle because they don't hold water at all the ones that I put in the spindle however are the all-in-ones the all-in-ones have got the insets attached to them it's not because I'm concerned that it's gonna ruin them because it doesn't I've put um, um, these all-in-ones in there multiple times and they're still in perfect condition. They're still intact. Nothing is breaking. Nothing is leaking. Nothing is getting torn. It's pretty much as good as it was before I started using spindles. I have a 
officially run out of pegs. <laughs> I have got these liners that I have to hang up, but they're very dry, so I'm not too worried about those. And then I have two wet bags that I need to hang. I'll probably make them share pegs with one of the nappy covers. Look at all of the excess water that the spindle drained from the nappies. These are basically dry. I like to leave this container just right under the spindle even though it's not spinning anything right now just so the excess water can like drip into it. I don't want for the water to drip on the kitchen counter and leave like a stain or a mark. And I also love to leave the spindle open so that it can like air dry and get some fresh air so it doesn't stink up in there when I close it. And that's typically it for this cloth nappy wash routine. That is basically what I do. It is super easy, super basic. Literally all you have to do is grab your nappies from where you store them, put them in the washing machine, run a rinse cycle twice I prefer and then of course continue with the wash cycle once you're done take them out put them in the spindle let it spin all that excess water out hang them up so that it can get some fresh air and then put them back in but yeah that's basically all i do spindle has been life-changing for me to be honest when it comes to washing the cloth nappies because i would have to give the insides a full day to dry up and sometimes when i'm washing late like when i come back from work and i have to wash the nappies it would take like over a day for them to get dry it was the worst in winter before we got spindle but this time around it was pretty incredible even in winter the insects were dry within an hour three hours maximum and it was just really life-changing i wanted to share this with you guys i hope you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified each time i upload a video but for me that's it and we'll catch you besties on our next video bye